Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to show you guys this um, gimbal protector, gimbal guard that I came up with for the up air. So I machined this out of polycarbonate, so it's uh, rather strong. Uh, it takes some impact. It's rather economical. So uh, on my DIY 3D channel, there'll be uh, upcoming episodes of how I went about the design of this and everything. However, I wanted to show you guys this and actually go ahead and install it because part of the design, you notice I had a knockout here for the antenna, but what happens is this, uh, long story short, sits in here and kind of uh, puts pressure against the legs. And then you see the camera can turn all the way down, but yet it, the camera's opening is pretty much... Um, set in there. Now one of the things that I want to do, and I'm going to, I'm going to experiment with this, and I, I wanted to do this as a template, is you all no, also notice I have a quarter twenty hole, or basically a quarter inch hole here, so I can mount other cameras to it and other different things, because what I want to experiment with this is a bit of a base uh, to mount other things, because I want to be, I can potentially mount a a run cam on here and other different cameras, uh, because one of the things, I've got a lot of space back here and I could possibly mount another camera actually facing this way off the back and just fly the copter backwards and have that camera and fly the copter forwards and have this camera so I can have multiple platforms here because again this is video drone right it's about doing video so I want to come up with a platform for this so this is a start uh, for that so this by no means is the end so what I want to do is actually go ahead and uh, mount this up on here so I've if I get get it the right way, is again I'm going to just use zip ties to cinch cinch this down on here, uh, sort of like that, and then just kind of go through and wrap these around. And I did uh, three on each side just to make sure it was really solid. And it appears to be. Uh, and again, with the polycarb, it's uh, it's a pretty resilient plastic. I've done a lot of work with polycarbonate material. Uh, it can get a little bit brittle, but um, you know, depending on how big the impact is. But it's again, I, I think uh, far better than just plain plain acrylic uh, for this application. So that's why I chose it. And so. Um, uh, because at the end product, once I get to where I want to be, I probably will machine out or CNC a piece of carbon fiber uh, and, and utilize that as my end product. Um, but until then, because one of the things too, I, I think there's a value. Now, I, I've done um, an episode uh, with um, about what I think of, of uh, uh, gimbal guards in, a, in another video. And I'm definitely a believer, especially after my first up air was damaged because, you know, basically this assembly got caught in a tree branch. Never should have happened. Kind of a fluke thing. I think if a gimbal guard was on here, that would have prevented that from catching on here and pulling this off. You know, so my, the damage should have been, you know, substantially minimized in, in, in the process. So, um, again, so that's how that basically looks. Then we just take our snippers and snip these away. Um, probably two would hold this just fine. I went with three because if I want to add some weight here. Now you notice there's a little bit of flexing here. My intent is is to uh, either 3D print or use some nylon washers to provide some extra rigidity for a camera. And I don't think, again, this is going to be the end product. Um, it's just sort of an experimentation. So here we go. So here we now have the up air uh, with the gimbal guard in place, and we got the camera here. It sits there, and again, the camera can look straight down, and you notice that it's not impeded in any way. Uh, I could actually bring this back uh, a little bit to cover this gimbal. Again, this is a little bit of a work in progress, uh, if you will, so I uh, wanted to get a basic design there. So I could bring this up a little bit more now that I have this. And uh, Again, I'll take it for some flights and see how it works because I want to see the aerodynamics of this too, uh, you know, because I don't want this thing to become an airfoil or act as a wing in any way. And so again, it sits on there just nice and so uh, pretty happy with it. Again, if I get all the bugs out of this and there's enough interest out there, I may do some short runs of cutting some of this out of either um, polycarbonate or carbon fiber. Obviously the carbon fiber is going to be a bit expensive to buy sheets of that. 
because uh, I can't buy it like the Chinese do and cut out vast quantities. But if there's an interest, uh, I would entertain uh, maybe doing a short run of these uh, for some folks. So if, you, if you're if you interested, kind of let me know below your your level of interest. And then if I decide to do that in the final product, um, you know, I'll post a video or something, let you guys know, and set up something via PayPal or something to do it. So, anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. A gimbal guard it can be done. Uh, also, the thing is, I didn't 3D print this. I forgot to mention this. I, I CNC'd this out on my 3040 CNC. Uh, again, primarily because I wanted to go with uh, polycarb. Uh, I want to be able to do this in... Um, uh, carbon fiber in the end product and frankly this was a little bit too big to print on a 200 millimeter by 200 millimeter bed uh, 3d printer and the rigidity of it uh, I, I don't think is you know be as good so anyways hopefully you found this interesting if you did give it a thumbs up uh, also subscribe button is going to be coming up over there subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hey we'll see you in the next video cheers